So I've just uh, done my first couch to 5k run um, in Paul Park, um, Beta Park, I don't know, Whitecliffe Park, <laughs> Whitecliffe Park, and uh, it was hard going on the legs. Um, the couch to 5k is kind of um, an inter, but it's for beginners, run a bit, walk a bit, run a bit, walk a bit. So it's now uh, Monday. Um, in week two, just about to start my uh, first run. I took off uh, Saturday and Sunday um, after my three runs last week. I just hope it's not been uh, too long because uh, obviously now we're going to step it up. And uh, my plan always was to run Monday, Wednesday, Friday because it fit around the school times. So hopefully I, that will happen and the two day break in between isn't going to be uh, a long one. Um, I lost nine. I lost two pounds over the over the weekend and well, over the last week, so I'm very happy with that. Um, and now it just gives you that kind of extra, um, you know, extra kind of appetite to want to lose more and um, to do this. So it was a bit of a chore to get, get up and get ready and to do this today, but um, I'm hoping that eventually it just becomes a way of life and, and not a chore. You know, um, I don't want to be fighting every day to think. You know, I don't want to do this run and try and think of lots of excuses because that's how I fell into it in the first place. So I'll be uh, obviously forcing myself to go out until it's like something that I want to do. But yesterday, all over the weekend, I was really looking forward to doing it. And uh, but today, I sort of got up and thinking, oh, do I ever don't want to do this today? Um, it's not raining. It's a nice morning again. A little bit of a breeze in the air. So let's do this and see how we go. And I'll let you know how I get on. Cheers, guys. But I've just done that first run on week two. It's very difficult. It doesn't sound a lot, but 90 seconds running, two minutes walking. Um, first time you do it, makes five or six runs with the walking in between. But um, it did hurt my shins. So maybe I need to adapt my running stance a little bit better. Uh, on the last run, it felt a bit more comfortable, funnily enough, because I, uh, I jogged a little bit better open up my uh, leg stance and it became a bit more springy but it was hard and as you can see the sun's out again so it's hot uh, glad it's over but automatically in my head I'm thinking about first week of next week and how hard that's going to be you don't want to think about that just take it each little step as it comes I'll go back now and have some breakfast Maybe a brown flakes and a banana or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's enjoyable. I felt I've accomplished something. I'm glad I was out. Better to be out than not be out. So, guys, even if you're just going to walk, just get out. Stop thinking of excuses. Just do it. And uh, face the consequences later. But you've got to get off your bum and uh, do it. So, uh, that'd be my advice anyway. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Let you know what I've done at the end of the week. And uh, have a good week, everyone. Bye-bye. So I did it. That was hard on my chest. But when you've got this behind you, amazing scenes, it becomes quite easy. It's just flat. Just jogging right up to there, behind me. So I'm just a little out of breath. Yeah, um, uh, week two is slightly harder, but it's supposed to be. I'll see what happens in week three. This, whatever I've got, manifests over the weekend, and I might have to have a few days off and then maybe repeat this week. I don't know. I'll uh, update you over the on Monday when uh, it's time for me to run again. But as you can see. This is Bournemouth Beach, it's lovely. Right guys, just did the uh, run and I was slightly wrong. So it's 90 seconds of walking, 90 seconds of jogging, three minutes of running, three minutes of cool down, or should I say walking. Then we do the same again, 90 seconds of jogging, 90 seconds walking, and you finish off with a three minute run. And now I'm doing my five minute cool down at the end. I find it surprisingly quite easy actually. Um, 
see how I feel. I might go out tomorrow now and do it. But yeah, I feel good about that. It's well worth doing. I'll speak to you guys soon. So I've just completed week three um, of the three runs. I had to do them back to back. It's Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I can't do tomorrow. And last Monday I was ill. So I had to do them back to back, no choice. Got through it. But today's the hottest day ever so far. And I mean, it's only nine-ish in the morning. It's really hot. Tomorrow's supposed to be even hotter. So I'm glad I got it out of the way. Anyway, have a good weekend, folks. I'll see you soon. Hi, guys. Well, it's the start of another week. Um, I think it's week four now. I lose count. Um, but this week, um, I've got to run for three minutes and then you walk for 90 seconds and then you run for five minutes. I think you repeat that twice. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. It's the first run of the week. I cut my run short last week. I did it uh, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Gave myself an extra day off um, last week. Um, my foot, I must have got some kind of uh, insect bite and my foot just swelled up. Um, my knee feels a bit tight as well today. So we'll see how we go. But um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. As you can see with the glasses, it's, it's hotter than I've ever run before. So we'll see how we go. It's only 8.44 in the morning, so it shouldn't be too bad, but you never know when you, when you start running. But let's do this, eh? See you later. Well, quickly before my battery dies, the weather was good, too good. Um, my feet hurt a bit. I put that down to the trainers, but as you know, trainers are quite expensive. So we'll see how we go. And uh, yeah, just go at your own pace, guys and you'll get round. Go a little bit slower um, and you'll do it. I'll see you soon. Well, I think I've got to run uh, the uh, bug for this running lark. Um, it's up at 6.30 today. And then straight out to do a run along the beach. That's something I've not done before. So it must be working. Uh, just done my second run of week four. It's quite tiring, but it always is gonna be. But I just wanted to report that I'm quite happy with my, my progress. Is my knee's slightly in pain. I'm hoping that goes, but for durability and stamina, I seem to be doing okay. Anyway, I'm off for a, a shower and to drop the boy at school. See you later. Hi guys, well it's been uh, about six to seven weeks now and I am starting my jogging again. Um, I had the I had an injury towards the back end of the uh, before the summer holidays, and um, then six weeks off due to the school and um, not being able to really find time to look after my son and um, you know do jogging. So now I'm back in the routine. I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, jog where I left off. So I think I'll be doing five minutes jogging three minutes walking five minutes jogging three minutes walking five minutes jogging plus your obviously your cool downs at the end um and i'm gonna see how i go with that but um, i've been doing football over the six weeks holidays so I, I feel that i can sort of start where i left off otherwise i'll probably drop back a couple of weeks on the course and then start doing it again but um i feel that i can do it only time will tell today maybe stupid but i'll give it a go and um I'll let you know how I, how I do. I'm a bit apprehensive, but you know, um, we've got to get back on, on it and into a routine. And that's the problem that I have. Once I fall out of the routine, I don't want to do it. So with jogging, you know, make sure you keep keep it up unless there's obviously an injury or something and um, you should be okay. Racing, I rented a 5K race in Bournemouth. Um, that's in four weeks time. So really I've got to knuckle down now got all the sponsorship racing for Macmillan as you can see got my top on I uh, thought I'd do a midweek journal today um, purely because week five threw a bit of a curveball at me and it will do at you too um, so on the Monday we did a five minute run followed by a three minute um, walk um, three times but today it's an eight minute run followed by a five minute walk and then an eight minute run again. It was, the first one was quite nerve wracking, I have to be honest. I managed to do it, 
got quite tired towards the end, couldn't set my pace right because I was purely expecting a five minute run. Um, second right, eight minute run was surprisingly easy. Um, I did it a lot slower. Uh, I was a lot more calm about it. Um, but yeah, it's just letting you know what to expect. I did it, so I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed with that, but um, I was pleasantly surprised. So thank you for that couch to 5K for chucking that massive curveball in the middle of this week. Um, I do believe that Friday, well, for me, I do it Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I do believe that Friday is gonna be yet another different time. So uh, I might do a separate journal for that too, and I'll let you know how I get on. Thanks a lot, bye. Okay guys, uh, just following on from that, I just checked what uh, the run is, my next run, and apparently it's a five minute walk, then a 20 minute run, so, and then a five minute walk again. So you really do pull it in in week five. Um, it's not as consistent as previous weeks, and I have to say I'm a bit worried because you start off with this five minute and three minutes, followed by an eight minutes, five and eight, and then they want you to do a 20. Oh, I just don't know what to do. We'll see how we go and then I'll let you know at the end of the 20 minute run how I did. I wonder if I might walk some of it, but I don't want to get that into my mind. I want to try and run it. We'll see. Okay, have a good week. See you later. All right, guys. Well, I did it. I'll just pace myself. Funnily enough, I didn't even get to the point where I normally get to when I do like the smaller runs. I went that slow on my jog and I was that apprehensive that when I went 10 minutes out I still didn't do the point where I got eight minutes out the other day so if you understand that um, so it's very important to go slow it's very important to pace yourself and um, you will do it last five minutes is a killer but you will get there okay uh, pleased that I've done it now I'm gonna go and have a shower have a good weekend see you later well I've just done uh, a 25 minute run. Just took it really easy, really easy indeed. I also had an extra two days recovery purely because I've had a bit of a chesty cough and for the last couple of days. I still got it this morning, but I need to get out because next week's three 25 minute runs. I can't afford to fall behind at this stage. I've got a 5k, Bournemouth 5k in about three weeks. And as it is, the uh, course will finish the week after the run. So I'm just going to keep on plodding along and uh, just aim to get around on that day. But yeah, my advice is just jog really slowly and you'll get there. Look, that's what I jog with. Brilliant. Anyway. Um, have a good weekend and I'll see you all later. Bye bye. So I've started week one of uh, week six or seven, seven I think. Um, three runs this week, 25 minutes. So this is the first run. As I said, running down the prom, there was a really strong headwind. So that killed a bit. And then when I turned around, I actually felt better. I had the wind behind me. It was pushing me down. I actually got further back this way than I did when I started. Um, so yeah, I did it. And it was actually a lot better than the end of last week, but I guess it's supposed to be. And by the end of this week, I should be uh, um, a bit of a better runner. And then on to 28 minutes next week. So have a good week, everyone. I'll see you soon, and uh, just pace yourself, that's what I say. Okay, cheerio. Um, did 5K, so really pleased with that. Um, my time was 45 th uh, minutes, 38 seconds, 0.43. And I'll take the 4.3, because if I can beat it on a 4.2, then I've still beaten my personal best. I've set up a, a, a personal best target now, 45, 38.43. It's not the quickest time in the world. I'm not the smallest person in the world, but uh, I did it. I think I might have just done slightly over 5k actually. I, I got lost halfway through the route and I think I've gone a little bit further out of my way than I should have done. So I'll measure that when I get in, but um, yeah, it was a good run. Just kept it at a slow pace. Going up, I had the wind in my face and it was really strong. So the first half of this run was 
uh, relentless. And then it was nice because coming back, I had it pushing me uh, all the way down. So it was slightly quicker coming down and I felt a lot easier coming back naturally, but my pace uh, lengthened a bit. Um, and um, yeah, I managed to get back quicker than I anticipated. So I was quite chuffed with that. So um, all in all, good run. Thursday, like I say, I'll do a slightly shorter run. Um, and then Saturday, I've got my actual 5K. So I'll go up against this time um, and see how we do. Okay, cheers guys, I'll see you later. Well, today I run 30 minutes. Um, I've got a new pair of uh, shoes, which you probably can't see, but they're there. Can you those? So I thought I'd give them a run. I know it's a bit silly to do it just before um, I do a 10K run. That's why a 5k run, but I figured it's only 5k. <laughs> it's not like I'm doing the marathon, so but they lasted quite well. My knees lasted well, my feet were brilliant. So, and as you can see, even for the first time, it's not sunny. Nice little haze going across there at Whitecliffe Park over into Beta Park, and uh, funny enough, it's a bit more muggy. So, there you go, win some, lose some. Um, next up for me is the 5k on Saturday, it's now Thursday. And I'll let you know how I'll get on. So I'll see you later. Bye. Well, it's race day. Here I am at the uh, Bournemouth 5K. Hope to hopefully I can get around soon. The weather's really hot today, and it's like 3 3 30 at the moment. Let's see how we go. I've got family across the way there coming to see me and friends down from Essex, so it's, uh, they've travelled a long way. Um, I'll let you know how I get on, and uh, hopefully I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Bye. Going for the line, we have Kerry Stevens, Laura Waxworthy, Owen Stevens, Simon Davy, Vicky Wood. Well, as I say, medal time. There we go. That's worth doing that. Now I'm going to start riding 5k on my own leisure, and I want, and not for Target. I aim to do it twice a week. I can see you guys. There.